When the internet was invented, it was supposed to be a shared space. It was meant to be decentralized and democratic. Today, every time people want to use a new service on the internet, they have to register. And this leads to several problems. The usernames and passwords are supposed to be their own secret. But in fact, they are shared with the companies running the services. These companies store massive amounts of user-generated data in huge centralized silos, which makes them a very attractive target for hacker attacks. On top of that, by gathering more and more data, the companies eventually turn into powerful monopolies. Monopolies are a potential threat for innovation because smaller companies with alternative, maybe better ideas need to make huge efforts to compete with them. All this has led to a loss of trust in the internet. Wouldn't it be democratic and fair if everybody could own their data themselves? With services built on the blockchain protocol Kilt, we can now transfer this very successful concept from the analog world into the digital world. Kilt protocol allows the user to claim any kind of characteristic about herself to a trusted entity that we call a tester. If the attester considers this claim to be true, he can certify it. He hands out the certificate to the user called claimer and stores a hash value of the certificate on the Kilt blockchain. As certificates sometimes become invalid, attesters can revoke them at any time on the Kilt blockchain. Once the claimer received her certificate, she can present it to the services she wants to use. If the verifier of a service trusts the attester, he can check the validity of the certificate by comparing it to the hash on the blockchain. Since the attester is not involved in the verification process, the behavior of the claimer remains unknown to him. When showing her certificate to a verifier, the claimer can even hide all sensitive data, which is not necessary for the verification. That's how Kilt protects the user's privacy, by design. With Kilt, the claimer has full data sovereignty, since only she is in control of her certificates. As it is impossible to restore the personal data from the hash, hacking the blockchain would be useless. If data is no longer stored in centralized silos, companies can no longer build monopolies with the amount of data they own. This whole new level playing field would foster innovation beyond tech giants. Kilt is suitable for any use case where a certificate is issued by a trusted entity. Not only individuals, but also organizations or objects can claim characteristics about themselves. Since those claimers only choose attesters who are trusted by many verifiers, Kilt establishes a market where trust can be monetized and creates countless new business opportunities. Kilt is the missing technological link between the growing need for self-sovereign data and interoperability and the actual solutions. It is now in the hands of political and business leaders to provide society with alternatives to platform registration processes on service and app level. Let's build the next generation internet.